a very interesting topic called artificial kidney. So most of my patients and many uh, who are very curious uh, about what is what is happening to the artificial kidney. Some advancements is already happened. Lot many years may be required to have an artificial kidney. The kidney project bioreactive artificial kidney where uh, the scientists of uh, California University San Francisco they have developed they are developing a, uh, a device uh, uh, which is the size of a mobile or size of a kidney and uh, this device contains kidney cells and this kidney each cells replicate the cells which are there in the nephron and uh, they try this cells try to uh, filter the ions waste products uh, uh, they are also making uh, making sure that it releases some hormones like mm -hmm. renin. So all this uh, is going on uh, in this project. Uh, so to, till now, uh, there's no deadline when they are going to finish it. Uh, so this kidney cells will be protected by silicon cells, uh, silicon membrane, so that there is no bio uh, incompatibility. Uh, no, you, uh, there's no need for uh, any uh, anticoagulants. And this will also help uh, of no need of any uh, uh, immunosuppression. So this will completely replace uh, the, uh, the patients who are on waiting list for dialysis. Those on dialysis can uh, get this device. Those who are on uh, waiting list can get this device. And uh, all the dialysis which we are doing probably in the future, uh, future we might not see uh, dialysis machines. So this is how which is going on. Uh, this is called the kidney project bioreactive uh, artificial kidneys. Okay, this is one. Second, uh, there is a one more uh, research which is going on. Uh, uh, it is called waterless artificial kidney, where instead of uh, membrane, dialyzer, dialysate, uh, and water, they are going to replace that uh, by uh, a method called electro deionization, where the ions are uh, removed, uh, so as potassium are removed, and uh, there is a regulation of ions like sodium, potassium, chloride. Uh, this is uh, this is also ongoing um, promising project which is going on. Uh, so let's see in the future we might see. See each dialysis requires around 200 liters of uh, RO water, the pure water. And this so many dialysis going on throughout the world, and so many gallons of water are wasted. So this will definitely reduce the uh, uh, carbon uh, uh, carbon print and uh, help, help the environment. Let's uh, be hopeful of this uh, artificial kidney. Uh, if you if you might be amazed, you know, dialysis uh, itself is an artificial kidney, okay? But uh, yeah, it is uh, not portable. So the dialyzer is uh, we what we use is uh, is considered as artificial kidney, in which uh, by the semipermeable membrane uh, they remove all the toxins. I think a few years back uh, there was a portable uh, dialysis uh, artificial kidney uh, where it's like a bag. We wear the bag. And uh, uh, so it, uh, the dialysis keep on happening. Uh, how we uh, uh, so how we are if, if, uh, prick the AV fistula, uh, we can prick uh, AV fistula and use that uh, portable uh, dialysis machine and then go for the work. So this is regarding artificial kidney. Okay. Uh, thank you.